Kathy Frankovit, director of surveys for CBS News, is here to explain the early signs to look for today. Before we get into what might happen later in the day, let's first talk about the latest CBS News poll, down to a single-digit lead for Barack Obama, although considerable. On the other hand, there's still this chunk of people who are undecided. You know, they're a very interesting group. It's about 9% of the total. These are people who are undecided or say their minds could still change. Right. That's half the number of uncommitted we had eight years ago in 2000 at this point in time. Right. But th you so, think about that. That really is this amorphous sort of group of people as they head into these polling places, especially in these gray states, could be the determining factor. Think about who these people are. These people are more male than they are female. Mm -hmm. They actually look like Republicans. They uh, voted for uh, George W. Bush over John Kerry two to one mm -hmm. in 2004. Right. Um, but they only give George W. Bush a uh, approval rating that's in the teens. Mm. So it's they're conflicted over the economy. They would be McCain voters. Maybe they'll be McCain voters again. They're kind of going back and forth. You know, this is genuine indecision for very good reasons. Right. And if they would to sort of as a group group say develop a group think on this day heading into the polls, they really could make the election go one way or the other, potentially? I think that that's lot, not all that likely to happy, <laughs> happen. I think that, that you're going to have a split. Most of them may go mm. in one direction or another, but you know, to change the overall tenor, maybe not this time. All right. So many other things to talk about with you today. You'll be with us throughout the morning. Yes. Kathy Fra Franco Bay, who is the single brain through which <laughs> all no, of the no, no, information no, no, no. No. at CBS, <laughs> it's the vortex. And she has all the, she's no. the oracle here this morning with us this morning.